crazy to think three years have gone by since familiar with Floss. Since then, we've had two more mixtapes, The Sunroom and About That Life. And almost one year ago exactly, Moti and I dropped our debut full-length album, The Parlay. Looking back now, it's cool to see how the music evolved. Those of you who've been there from the jump know that those mixtapes all had their own vibes. You know, Familiar with Floss kind of had more pop electronic influence. The Sunroom was real old school and chill. And About That Life had a lot of rap and heavy 808s. Moti produced beats here and there for those mixtapes, really finding himself as a producer in the process. In the end, he produced about half of Familiar with Floss and half of About That Life. Everybody's got their favorite style, but I'm thankful you guys have grown with us and always let us stay versatile and creative. I think artists lose a little bit of that authenticity and spark when they try to recreate rather than create. Finally, after those three mixtapes, we made the parlay. 100% produced by Moti, and 100% written and recorded by me, no features, no nothing. I'm so proud of that album, man. Being true independent artists, Moti and I are running the whole show here. It isn't just wake up, produce beats for him, and wake up, write music for me. That line in Static is for real about trying to market, be the artist and the label, but I wouldn't trade it, man. I think it's that much more fulfilling to create a project that way. After the parlay and the months of touring that followed, I knew I wanted to put out a free mixtape. The parlay was the culmination of a process, and I wanted to keep that process organic, give you guys the music for free, and make sure everyone has access to it so we can grow like we always have. Four projects in the game now, and they're all very different, but they're all me. There's difference between Familiar with Floss and The Sunroom, The Sunroom and About That Life, and About That Life and The Parlay. There's experimentation and development in all those. That's the idea behind Same Difference. Bear with me so you can get the meaning here. There's not a mindset to try and be different, and there's not a mindset to try and be the same. There's a mindset to work hard, grow, and evolve between projects. That growth results in a difference, but that difference is the same difference you see between every project. It's the same difference that took me from being embarrassed to tell people about my little music hobby in 2010 to making my first real buck off my passion in 2014, but it was that process and that growth. It didn't happen overnight. We've come a long way and we have a long way to go. This is the next step. This is what you've never heard, but also how we've always done it. This is Same Difference.